Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will study the acid-base titration. So friends, let's get started. First, we will discuss what is titration and what we require to perform the titration. So titration is a quantitative chemical analysis because in this we can measure the unknown concentration of the sample by the known concentration of a solution. Titration is also called titrimetry and it is a type of volumetric analysis that includes volume measurements. To perform the titration, we generally require a burette and a conical flask. Here, a burette holds the standard solution whose concentration is known and a conical flask holds the sample or analyte solution whose concentration is unknown. Now, before proceeding to the concept of acid-based titration, there are few important terms that we should know. First, a titrant is known as a standard solution whose concentration and volume are known then titrant is a sample whose concentration is unknown and it is a solution to which a titrant reacts. Equivalence point is the stage in which added titrant is chemically equivalent to the titrant or sample that is to be analyzed. Here in this stage titrant completely neutralizes the analyte solution. Then indicator is an organic dye that is added in the analyte solution to determine the equivalence point. It changes the color of the sample when an equilibrium is achieved. Then endpoint is the stage when the color of the system fully changes, indicating that the titration has been completed. Now let us discuss the meaning and theory of the acid-base titration. Acid-base titration depends upon the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base in a solution. So it is also called neutralization titration. Like titration, we can measure the unknown concentration of acid or base solution by the known concentration of the standard acid or base solution. So it must be clear to us that acid and bases are the two reactants in the acid-base titration. And this type of titration uses acid-base indicators that are mentioned in this table. Then coming into the theory of acid-base titration, it is usually performed in three trials or triplicates in which titrant is added to the sample until the color of the solution turns pink. Then we can calculate the average titer or the volume of titrant added to the sample by taking values of the titration volume in your three trials and divide it by three. You can calculate the titration volume by subtracting the final volume of titrant with the initial volume of titrant. Then to know the concentration of unknown sample, put all the known values in the given titration formula. Now we will discuss the procedure of acid-base titration. First, the sample to be analyzed or the analyte solution is added into the conical flask. Then add 2 to 3 drops of preferred acid base indicator to the sample solution. After that, add a standard solution or titrant into the burette and note down the initial reading. Then add standard solution into the conical flask until the color of the sample turns pink. Now note down the final volume of the titrant. You have to repeat this procedure two more times to get accurate results. Here we have taken an example of HCl and NaOH and HCl being strong acid and NaOH being strong base, we can use phenophthenyl indicator. Now suppose here we have used 0.1 molar concentration of HCl as a standard solution and the concentration of NaOH base is unknown but the volume is 25 ml. So to calculate the unknown concentration of NaOH, first we have to calculate the titration volume it is the volume of titrant added to the analyte solution. The value of titration volume can be obtained by subtracting the final value of titrant with the initial one. Then in this way we can calculate the average titer. At the equivalence point neutralization of HCl with NaOH occurs and the mole ratios of HCl and NaOH becomes equal to 1. We know that mole is equal to the product of concentration and volume. So we can modify this equation for an acid and a base. For acid, Na will be equal to Ca into Va and for base, Nb will be equal to Cb into Vb. As the mole ratios of acid and base become same at the equivalence point, a titration formula can be represented by the given equation. Now putting all the values in the titration formula, we can find out the concentration of NaOH. So friends, this is all for today. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So if you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.